Hey guys, hey, it's Kelly Kalorn Ben Simone with KKB Loves Blah 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 Blah. I'm here with my lovely and charming and sweet and kind daughter slash co-host, Teddy Ben Simone. Teddy, say hello. Hello. <laughs> we are we are on episode seven, you guys. I cannot believe we we're on episode week. seven. We missed a week. We're we're so sorry, but we had a kind of a we had a move. We were busy. Um, but we are back in action, and today we are talking all about wellness. But before we start we just the podcast, to... we'd like to start with a disclaimer. Teddy, you want to talk to them? Yes. Basically, we wanted to just say um, we stand wholeheartedly with the Black Lives Matter movement. We do not. We've never thought that racism was okay, and racism will never be okay. And we support all of the peace, peaceful protesting. And what you we think what you're doing is really, really amazing. So. In the way that we can help, we, we are going to link down below petitions you can sign and places you can donate to help the families that have been affected by this movement and hopefully create change. So, yeah. Implement change. That's what you want. Implement change. History in the making. All right, Teddy, thank you for that. I really appreciate it. Be on the right side of history. You're so sweet. You're really, really, really such a kind, empathetic girl. So let's get started no, with, <laughs> you are, you are very kind, very empathetic. Let's okay. get started on wellness. So what have you been doing lately, Teddy? So recently, this past week, I've been actually going, week, week, week. I've been, I've been working out. This, Work. I've been going to the gym this past week. Oh, okay. And um, if you know me personally, which pro you guys probably don't, I am not the biggest gym person. However, I am now. Oh. Uh, I've, you know, like, during quarantine, I've been, like, bike riding and stuff like that, but not really working out that much. I've just recently started kind of making my own, I've been vegan for a month now, which is really, really great, um, and I really, really like it, and I, I feel, like, a lot better, I can just feel, like, I don't know, it's, and now, now, like, I can look at my mom or my sister, even, like, near chicken or meat or whatever, I'm like, I don't want to have that. That looks not great for me. So, tell us a little bit about uh, how you're feeling and what you're doing to feel better. Um, so, uh, every morning I've been doing yoga, uh, just kind of just like to stretch out and kind of become aware of like my, like connect my mind and body because I feel like if I don't do yoga, I kind of get off track and I'm like, why, like, I don't really understand why I'm doing it, like working out, eating better. And like, you know, I'm actually doing this to feel healthy, be healthier. It's such a really great thing too. You guys, I've been studying, practicing yoga for a long long time and just the the great thing about yoga even some of the just the little moves that I incorporate in my workout every day they just they really help with balance and I think that's something you know we're always talking about balance in our life and that's really what wellness is all about is that creating that balance not just with food not just the emotional balance but your physical balance like if you feel good and you're treating your body well then you will have this balance that we're talking about Ooh. and fluff don't growl she needs some balance in her life and fluff is not balanced she's grumpy right now but yeah. um so teddy's been working out a lot what have you been doing uh well basically my mom has been a runner like her whole entire life and for most of my life as well and i used to run in like middle school but i just hated running i'm not gonna lie it would hurt you were a great runner remember how great you were i you wasn't were amazing. That, she thinks i was great but i really wasn't that great um, but I was like, you know what, I'm going to start running again. So I just basically will run a mile. Well, I'll walk for like, I'll walk a mile up like three point for 3.5 speed for like, like 11 incline for like 20, 30 minutes. And then I'll run a mile, but I'm trying to like, like do more. So I'm like, okay, I'll run a mile and a half. Then I want to run two miles with that. And then I will, and that's just like my warm up, like cardio. And then I will go and I will do some abs, some arms, and some legs, and then I will finish off with some yoga. And then I'm like, done. It's a quick little workout, it's probably like 45 minutes. Um, and I really like the time I spend in the gym. I like to go there, I like to be in there. I like, to, I, I like it, I don't know, it's, it really, really makes me feel better. Um, so I've been doing a lot of walking, you guys. I've been walking yeah. all, or, you know, you, you guys know that I work in high real estate with Holly Parker at Douglas Elliman. And I've been taking the opportunity since I, I passed my, um, the test here, the, um, the Gold Coast school test um, before my state test. I've been walking, literally my daughter, my oldest daughter and I have been walking all over. Fluff, don't bark. We've been, we've been, she's growling. She's growling. We've been walking all over Palm Beach and I've been seeing the most beautiful houses and it's been really interesting too, just to get like a, you know, when you're walking, 
you're really like in the trenches and you're it's just a, it's incredible how like each different community has such a different landscape so it's been fascinating to see the palm beach west palm beach area um by foot that's been really really great and just the walking too as teddy said you know i'm a runner I, i'm not a runner i i jog i you know jog like 25 30 minutes a day um and the reason i started doing that was when i was a kid um, when I was a swimmer, I needed to balance off my swimming, and so I started running. And when I was a model, how does that balance off your swimming? Well, because we because your your body's using different muscles, and so when I would get into the water, I was faster. And I used to mow the lawn before, like if I had a big meet, I would go for a run. I'd mow the lawn. I'd do anything that would like really, really. If you're um, if you don't have a gym at home and you live in the suburbs. Smoke the lawn. It's a great core <laughs> workout. A great it works exercise. your obliques. It is amazing exercise. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. Anyway, um, so it was, uh, gardening too is really good. Anyway, so <laughs> it actually is. It's really, really good. So anyway, um, what's great is that I really started running more when I was a model, living in all these different countries all over the world. And it was just a really easy way for me to understand where I was, um, where I was going during the day. And, just to get, again, like a, a different view of um, each city's landscape. And so I learned so much about all these cities. And I was never intimidated by them because I would run them in the morning. And um, so it's just always been something that, you know, I always say, you know, just put your sneakers on. It doesn't cost a thing. And, you know, what you get out of it, it just makes you feel so great. The walking, though, has just been incredible. And I haven't, and you, when I first came to New York, I was walking all of the time. And now I'm just loving, first of all, I love walking with, with my older daughter, C, just talking and chatting with her. But I've been, I do my calls in the morning. I, you know, check, I've been checking in with a lot of, a lot of people. Um, it's just been a really great time to, you know, I'm using to my time wisely. I'm working out and I'm doing my calls. So it's been really, really great. I really like it. I personally do not like those long walks. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> I don't like them. I'm not gonna lie to you. You hate them. I don't like them. I really, really do hate them. Hate I them. prefer to walk in the gym at the incline. I feel like I'm doing something. I can see what I'm doing. Um, and I'll go if I I even run on the treadmill. Like I will run outside, but no, I won't because I like to know exactly how fast I'm going. I like my pace. I like to know how far I went, how long it took me. I don't want to be like, oh, we went on a walk. I also tried to go on one of the walks, and I was literally miserable well it's really really hot down here and um, fluffy goes on the walks and she's chasing after all these lizards and going crazy and it's just been really fun it's been a really it's really fun family time and it was interesting just like walking i was with, bored walking with c and teddy i was thinking like oh my god it reminded me of when i was a model and we'd like literally walk all this all these cities together all the models um from, go from casting to casting and it kind of reminded me of of that, it was really, it was, I just was really enjoying it. I really enjoyed that time that we had together. No, I like walking with my friend Kemi. But I, I do, I guess too, from, from my perspective, I mean, we lo I love that Teddy's in the gym. I love that she's doing different exercises. You know, she's practicing yoga, she's running, she's doing squats, sit-ups, Mark my words, I'm gonna become a yoga instructor, so that's certified. She wants, she wants to become a yoga instructor, but just like all the things that she's been doing. Not for my life end goal, but like as a hobby. I yoga. just gonna instruct yoga classes. Get everyone super zen. Well, it's Not nice. It's day. good to wake up that way in the morning if you stretch. Um, that's one reason why I like to exercise in the, in the morning. So I just get that. I mean, it makes me feel really, really good. It gives you a lot of energy. And it's weird. Tons of energy. But then at the end of my workout, I always do a headstand. And I used to do, when I was doing my headstand, I used to say what I was thankful for. And what I was, and then I, and then I switched. And then I was like, what I'm grateful for. And then I realized, I'm like, I am, I have... I am so, so incredibly lucky. I have the most beautiful family. We're healthy. We're well. You know, I'm I, so fortunate to be able to raise them on my own. And so now I just say, like, who I'm thankful for. So the people in my life. And I pick three people a day. And I say, you know. You better be picking C and I. Always pick you guys. But then and it's who's like the other person? I don't know. It depends on who it is. It depends on, like, what, what person taught me a lesson or... Um, you know, brought something new into my life or whatever it is. It's just like, I think it's just a nice, you know, gesture to put that out there that I am thankful for the different people in my life. And I have a lot of people in my life that I'm so thankful for. So that's just kind of what I do. And so that's why when you guys are like, oh my God, Kelly's always in such a good mood. I'm in a good mood because 
good begets good. I mean, I'm doing, you know, I'm trying to be the best person I am and I'm trying to work out as much as I can. Well, you give what you get, you know what I mean? You get what you get, I like that. Or you get what you give. So Teddy's trying all these new vegan recipes. If you guys want to go on the supermodel diet on my Instagram, you guys can see a lot Go vegan. Of, you can see a it's lot better of for the environment. You can see a it's lot better of for you. recipes. Go vegan. And Sorry, Mom. But go vegan. Okay. I love, I mean, there's a lot of, I love what you make me. I love all of the vegan options that you've been making me. They're delicious. My fa one, of my favorite, one of my favorite meals that Teddy's made for me is the cauliflower rice, um, the black beans, and then she slices avocado on top and puts um, olive oil and salt and pepper. It is epic. It is so delicious. I love when you make that for me. You make that tomorrow? No. Oh. Anyway, um, is there anything else you want to talk about wellness? Um, oh, another thing about wellness, it's not only your body, it's your mind. Read books. Pick your books you like. We have an episode on books. Read books. I know you're like, oh my God, but I have a movie I like to watch. Listen oh to God. podcasts. Listen, Listen to, to a to lot podcasts. of podcasts. You can get a lot of information from people just telling you. This is a podcast. I'm saying not just <laughs> ours, but other ones. Listen to podcasts. I mean, you can get a lot of information. Like I was on Brandy Glanville's um, podcast last week and, you know, I was just so happy. I'd never met her before and I was just so happy to, you know, hear her story about, um, you know, her ex-husband and, um, you know, I, I, you know, I had a lot of empathy for her. I mean, she's been through a lot and I, you know, it's just uh, each person's, it, each person has their own story. And I think it's really interesting to, um, use podcasts as a, as a great way to and take a page out of Fluff Puff's book. It's a take great way to spend your time when you're on your walk, when you're in your car, wherever you are, before you go to bed, listen to your podcast and listen and do a nightly meditation. I love that headspace. I love Headspace is an app that you guys can download, and it's just like at night you just like it, can you it'll talk to you. It depends on how long you it want. Doesn't like, really work for me though. I've tried, like I've tried like calm, tried Headspace, I tried all those things, but it makes me like they're like focus on your breath, and I'm like okay, I focus on my breath, and then it switches from automatic to manual. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but like where I like I focus too much on my breath, I'm like oh my god, wait, I just forgot to breathe, and then I have to do it again. <laughs> it's like a whole thing. Okay, when you forget to breathe, that's not good. I just pretend to sleep for 15 minutes and then I knock out. All right. That's my way of well, this is KKB Loves, blah, 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 episode seven, all about wellness. Teddy and I, thank you so much for listening to us. If you have questions, concerns, if you like something, you don't like don't something, forget to sign criticize to us, tell us everything that you like and don't like. And if you have ideas for us to talk about, we'd love to hear from you guys. We love you. Thank you so much. We're grateful for you and humbled by the time Stay well. that you take to listen to us. Be well. Donate and have petitions. Bye. Be safe. Bye, guys.